not, I'm just about to start stitching um, the first laden couch work on the Christmas stocking. Um, but I know first there's a few things I need to do to make sure that I'm going to be comfortable doing the stitching and I'm not going to do any harm to my back or my arms. And as Philip says, it's all about sitting upright, making sure you, you sat in the right position, good posture. And then it's about making sure that you've got your hoop at the right um, height. So I'm going to take the paddle and I'm going to go, I think I'm going to put it under this cheek of my leg. So under there like that, because Philip said, nice and as if you were riding a horse. It's a good few years since I went horse riding with my daughter, I must admit. But uh, hey, it all comes back, doesn't it? And then the other, the other tip that Philip says is, have it so it's the sort of height you were driving the car, sort of a steering wheel of a car, which is quite nice. Oh yeah, I quite like that. I think we've got that position right. I just need to start, get my thread, choose the right colour thread and thread my needle. Right, um, I've just been consulting the Essential Guide to Cruel Work that is a little booklet that goes with every one of the kits that Philippa sends out because um, I needed to check. There's two sorts of needle. There's the gold needle and the silver needle and I keep getting them mixed up, which is for which. So the gold needle is for single thread and the silver needle is for double thread. And I went back to the videos and had a look to see what, what we were doing to do the first part of the laden couch work, and it is double thread. So I have got a, sing, a silver needle here, and I have also got the first colour wool, which is this beautiful blue, like I call that a baby blue, baby blue. And, and this is four, six, three in the Appleton's walls. So I'm going to now see if I can find find the right end. Now I find this really, really stressful because I can't see an end at all. Philip says, give them a shake, give them a shake and and a little tail will come out somewhere, somewhere. Ah, is that the tail? Is that the tail or is that? No, that's not the tail. Ah, found it. What I need to do now is make sure that the wall is from my finger to there. And with it being double, I need to do it that length. So that's the length I'm going to be using. It doesn't look a lot, but then I've learned by watching Katie that if you do it too long, you get in a knot and the wool starts to deteriorate. So it rubs, it's been the friction on it going through the linen gets, it makes it wear away a little bit. So I'm going to stick with what Philippa says. It's that twice. So I'm going to use Philippa's technique for threading the wool, which is get the thread between your thumb and your first finger, then push the eye of the needle over and pull through. <gasps> it works like magic. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So looking at my hoop now, maybe I should have pushed it a little bit further up to here. So what we're stitching this bit for a while, but I think I'll start laying couch work here now. Cut into my, oops, my, oh, this is very tough stuff. <laughs> so see how I go with this. So casting on, I've just been having a look in the book. So I, the loop part needs to come up because what I'm going to do is do seeding stitch. I'm going to do seeding stitch here because there's going to be another stitch going along there. Um, and I'm going to push that. Oh, I'll have to keep this with me. Push that down. Oh, I see what Katie means about doing the two handed thing. This week was very strange. Leave that hoop there. Then I come up through that hoop. Oh, how on earth you find where you, you ah, there it does pull through. That's my first seeding stitch. My, that's, that's amazing. And I think you need to do a couple, don't you? Just to make sure that everything stays in place. So that's that. And then I can come up. Ooh, 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 I don't know where I'm coming up next. <laughs> Here. That seems very secure, which is amazing. Down and again. And then 
I come up just the other side of that blue line. Ooh. Then it goes all the way down to there. This isn't going to, I think I might have misread about doing the length of this because this is only going to do like two. I think this is the one now thinking back where Philippa said, when you're doing laden couch work, you can do it a little, a little longer because I've only done two stitches there. <laughs> Mistake number one, out of the way. i have just do a seam stitch to cast that off. So that, oh, gosh, I didn't even, uh, couldn't have gone through the same old twice if I'd have tried. There we go. Little seeding stitch. Secure what I've already done. Then I'll come up, cut that, and cut myself a bit longer to go do this laden couch work. So now you can see how I'm starting. I shall carry on with this tonight. I shall go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down here. Then I'll go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, backwards. And then I shall show you where I get and we'll continue from there. So thank you so much for joining me uh, on my journey, trying to uh, put my theory into practice. And I shall see you soon when I've completed this laden couch work. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye.